with each other's EJR, e-business. Welcome to the channel. I do not know why I did that. Anyways, thank you for the first time. Thank you for the first time. Well, this might be the first time you come here. So thank you for the first time coming. Well, if this is your first time coming, once again, I hope you enjoy my reaction. Subscribe to the channel, you guys. So you can see what I'm about to do, what I keep doing with my reactions and things I have to say. You dig? I. Anyways, so you guys saw the title of my stuff. My title is nothing how the original title of this video is, okay? I did a reaction from this guy. His name is Ronaldo Goss. I think I said his name right. But the first time I did a reaction, there was, you know, like there's like a lot of people that got upset, you know, cause he was just trying to say his side. Like he was talking about Julius. I forgot what the hell the video was about. All right, but a lot of people did get upset. You know, a lot of people, you know, down with EFF and, you know, they got pretty upset about that. So, um, this title right now is called Malema Calls Black People Monkeys and States There Are No Farm Murders. I'm only quiet because this title is like very unique and I don't believe it you know like like how he said like is there's see it's just like fox news fox news will show something but it's like they don't put like the behind story about it you know but i haven't watched this yet so i don't know what it is all right about to go up in here I'm just doing a reaction man whatever man let's watch this y'all man let me know how you guys feel let's get it all right Hey, what's up guys? It's Ronaldo here. So by now, I think everybody is up to date with what happened in Sierra Nicole. So I'm not really going to focus on that. All right. This is October 16, 2020. All right. October 16, 2020. I don't know what the hell happened in Senegal. Okay. So hopefully you guys might know, but let's go. What I want to focus on is Julius Malema's speech after the court appearance in which he made two really problematic statements. Now the first real issue I have with Julius Malema is the fact that he stated the following. Let's put this to an end. There is no farm murders in South Africa. There are no farmers who are being killed. And this message must reach that racist Trump. There are no white farmers being killed in South Africa. Yeah. So it's quite clear that Julius Malema wants to spread the Cyril Ramaphosa narrative that there are no farm murders in this country and specifically that there are no killing of white farmers in this country. So my obvious question then is what were you doing in Senegal today? Why were people gathering in Senegal? Because the last time I checked it was the bail application for two individuals that killed a white farm worker. But yet according to you there's no farm murders or the killing of white farmers in this country. So then what the hell were you doing in Sierra Nicole if, if we have to believe you and that there is an actual fact, no killing of farmers or white farmers as you stated? I simply can't believe that an individual like this has got the reach that they do in South Africa. It blows my mind that there is a space in this country for somebody like Julius Malema and the economic freedom fighters as a political party. It shows that we haven't really evolved much since we became a democracy in 1994. If there is this much hatred that is allowed to thrive and actually be the third biggest political party in South Africa, it shows what massive issues we've got in this country. If we have somebody like Julius Malema and the economic freedom fighters that can utter bullshit like this and incite racial hatred and inciting violence every single step of the way and nothing is being done about it. Yes, that's right. To the South African Human Rights Commission, I'm talking about you. Yes, to the court system, I'm talking about you. Every single time Julius Malema opens his mouth and spews the racial vitriol and the hatred, then you look the other way. Where are you now? When are you going to finally take a stand against this cretin this cancerous individual that is destroying our democracy. And if all of this wasn't enough, that was just one part of the speech that was problematic. I mean, the entire speech was problematic, but there was so much more. 
Julius Malema actually came out and stated the following. That's what is paining a white man. A white man is paid by the fact that he's going to have to share the same table with a monkey. Yeah, that's right. That's Julius Malema calling black people monkeys. Now, do you remember an individual called Penny Sparrow that was found guilty and was a convicted criminal because of the utterings that she uttered in which she called black people monkeys? Now, my obvious question is, what's going to happen to Julius Malema? Because the last time I checked, racism is racism, irrespective of whether or not you are white, black, colored, Indian, Asian. So the fact that he called black people monkeys and him being black has got absolutely nothing to do with this situation. He called black people monkeys and that is completely unacceptable. So what is going to happen? Is the South African Human Rights Commission going to step in? Is the court system going to step in? What's going to happen? Because here we got two scenarios just in one speech, just in the latest speech from Julius Malema. And I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen. But that is the double standards that we have in this country. We've got somebody that for the past 14 plus years have stated the most hateful things and he's still a free man. And here we have a clear cut example of him calling black people monkeys, which is... I got to pause it. <clears throat> I want to, uh, you know, you guys go ahead, tell me everything, how you guys uh, feel about this, like everything he's saying, you know, just uh, let me know everything. All right. Let's get to it, though. OK. It's racist. And we have an example of somebody that's done this before and was convicted. Julius Malema is just going to get away with it like he's always done. Because you know why? The government is scared of Julius Malema. The government needs a coalition partner heading into 2021 and 2024. Why do you think the government's been so quiet with regards to the click saga? Why do you think the government's been so quiet with regards to the things that Julius Malema has said against these own ministers from the government? So to end off this video, today's events at Sienegal clearly just demonstrate that as a democracy, we are miles apart from one another and it's not because of the vast majority of people in this country that don't want to work together it's because of the fringe groups that hate each other and speak on behalf of the vast majority of people in this country and that's really unfortunate now is the time for the vast majority the silent majority to open their mouths and condemn racism from wherever it comes whether it is the moderate to far left the moderate to far right you need to condemn racism and we need to start seeing action from the commissions like the South African Human Rights Commission as well as the court system because this can't go on. If we are going to let this continue down this path it's going right now, then we will have a civil war in this country and we will have racial hatred that is extended to a level that we haven't seen since apartheid. I think it's fair to say that most South Africans are absolutely hateful of this politicking of this racial hatred, of this narrative that most South Africans dislike and hate one another. We need to stop allowing these fringe groups to speak on behalf of the majority of this country. And that means that you need to take action. You need to put pressure on the South African Human Rights Commission and on the government to take action against this cancerous individual called Julius Malema and his political party. And that's basically all I've got to say. If you enjoy my content and please consider becoming a member, you can do so by clicking the join button below. Also, if you like my merch, go and check it out. Okay, merch. Your turn. Let me know how you guys feel about everything. That was his opinion with everything. I'm here to listen. And, you know, it's kind of hard for me to give my reaction with this because I'd rather have... I'd rather have you guys tell me how you guys feel all right about all this you know so this was his opinion towards um julius and it's up to you guys let me know how you guys feel okay all right that's what it is all right and um how can i just let me know though all right y'all